I was bored. I run in and say, hi, y'all, three or four seconds and four minutes, and I'm out. See? Well, only you had a very short part in the beginning. I guess you remember that. In and out. So one in and out day, after about three, two years, I saw Norman walking down the hall, and I said, hey, Norman. And he said, yeah, I said, I need something to do. I, I just can't prepare myself to do 16 or four lines. I mean, I got to, I need to do something. I'm a performer. I need to do something. He said, what else can you do? And I said, Psh, I can do a lot of things. I said, I can write. I can, I can paint. I'm an artist. I, I can teach. And he said, well, I mean, what can you do in terms of, uh, you know, what I do? And I said, well, you know, if you had a show, I could do something. I could do the music. He said, oh, really? <laughs> That's how he looked like, oh, really? I said, yeah, I could do the music. What he didn't know was I'd written music before in New York. So I was, you know, I knew about music. But he looked at me like, mm, right. He said, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I have a new show coming up. I won't tell you too much about it. He said, but uh, it's about a, clean, a man with cleaners. I said, I got it. I'll bring it in Monday. Must have been a Thursday. He laughed and smiled and like, yeah, okay, fine. Because you know, he likes ambitious people, and I was definitely one of those. And I, I know he was kind of up his sleeve saying, yeah, okay, fine. She's going to write a score. I mean, she's going to write a song, right? And give it to me next week. Needless to say, I'm sitting there, and I'm going, hmm. And I picked down the piano, bing, 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 bing. I still couldn't think of anything. What can I write? What can I write? Oh, God, I'm in trouble now. How am I going to do this? I mean, what do I... What a guy with the cleaners? What guy with the cleaners? I thought of all kinds of things. What guy with the cleaners? And he messed up somebody's suit. I couldn't find a. And uh, I talked to my mom in New York, and I was telling her, I said, you know, I think I blew it. I think I just, uh, I don't know if I can do what I told Norman I could do. And she said, always has said this to me. You can do it. And I said but I don't know what to write about. She said, what, is your, what was your dream all your life? My dream was to get my mother from working, to put it, retire her, buy a car, fur coats, move her away from Brooklyn, ghetto, Farrah Street, Williamsburg, where I lived. That was the dream. See, living in Brooklyn, you have the east side, the west side, I want to do to the east side. Got the, got the idea? I wanted to move to the east side. And I used to always tell her, one of these days, Mom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this. This was the opportunity. She says, what have you been always saying to me since you were a little girl? Even when you stuttered, you said it to me. I said, I was going to make a difference. I was going to change your life. I was going to move you out of here. I was gonna... She said, write that. And I wrote that and brought it in. And I think Norma looked at it, and he said, uh, who told you about the story? And I said, no one told me about the story. He said, how, how do you know these things, that you're moving to the east side and, and all this stuff, and the penthouse, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, that's personal. I said, but that's the song. That's the promise. I kept saying it's the promise. And he said, he didn't say I loved it. You know, they don't do that. He took it and went on in his office, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing I know, I'm uh, meeting other people that are coming in. And uh, a couple of things happened that weren't too pleasant. But basically, I got the, the piece of the pie, part of my song, too. And um, so the song is everywhere. The song is everywhere. Uh, I'm known for the song. I sing the song in churches. I sing the song everywhere because people want to hear the song. I call myself the one song chick. Because I mean, they don't want any other song from me. Like I did our senior hall show later on down. And he had me come in and for the whole hour, guess what I sang? But moving up in different ways, African version, jazz version, gospel version. And that's all I did the whole night was a gas. But it's, that's how famous the song is. And, it's the, and the reason why it's famous is because it was my dream.